Hello and welcome to the video. This video might seem like a huge location blab to you, but it's not. Since filming, the school has been purchased and turned into a house. So if you try to fag vex it, you've got something else coming for you. The original Warrenburn State School opened in 1875, but the building seen today was opened in the 1950s. The school operated for over 133 years until it was closed forever mid-year in 2008 due to declining enrollments. Enjoy. Padlock did a lot of good, didn't it? Definitely a lot of sprouters since 2009. I'll pop in a comparison shot of what this area looked like pre-sprouters. There is a photo taken on the last day of school ever, and as you can see, the sprouters are much smaller than they are now. The old bike shed here. I like how the stumps of the bike shed are made out of drums. The cool artwork of the kids, I assume. Come on, it looks kitty in here. When they finished year six, they wrote their little message in here. This is cool. Some pieces, country style. Oh, bike shed, alternative angle. That is an absolutely sick LTC. Sorry for the bumpiness, my hands are weird. Look at the build up of leaves in the entrance. It's nothing compared to Colac High School or dump in a shot. Oh no, it looks like a bit of fag vex, but I guess at least we can get in now. Whoa. You can see the entrance to the school here. This door here, you know, all the feet have been walking over it, but then they pretty much permanently close this door and you can see the difference of the wear and tear. This door here next to the fridge just kind of permanently closed due to the fridge. All right, so we came in the door in here. Little room, some type of remnants there. Yeah, just a little room. I have no clue what really this was for, but I guess that's getting in depth. Huntsman. English, reading, writing, speak slash listen. Tea bags and stuff there, testing thing. Arts and music room. I love these kid friendly curtains. There's the address if you guys want to come and fag this place. Thank you, fag -bexes. Very, very vintage old Calvinator fridge here. Fridge, spooky old fridge. Look at it, it's always been fat but it's a fridge, spooky old fridge. On the fridge, you can see little sort of stickers and stuff. Credit Union, very, very cool. This is a Calvinator fridge, by the way. Nothing in the truck. Oh, the copper is still all here. All right, little stove area. I don't think there's too much left. We'll just have a look. Little bug hive. Um, this stove here is so rich. I love the little plates that go over the burners. Some trays. The wasps have even been in the oven. Anyway, into the main classroom now. Let's check it out. Sliding door. Gluten tag, whatever that means. Wave to the camera. Waving. In the classroom. Oh, Why is the roof falling down? It doesn't look to be rusty or water damaged. Oh, someone pulled this down and then it just sort of went pear shaped. A little nook thing here. Coloured paper. Of art and kids. No. Fatally defunct Calvinator air conditioner here. Out of order, please do not plug in or turn on. Kelvinator. There's a hole in the roof, I don't know what for, but you can see this room would have been painted pink at one point. There's heaps of gloves. Cross country training laps. I love these old little plastic bag hooks. Some type of fire. Fagbexes are lit in here. I would assume that the first ever break-in happened up there because they just ripped out the loo vase then sort of hopped down and then unlocked all the doors from the inside. Welcome to I'm Not Telling You Where It Is Primary School Memory Day. This was all written on the last day of school when they were doing their sort of goodbye ceremony in back in 2008. You can see that there's very circular holes in the windows. There could be bullet holes or they could be from acorns. The acorn also went through this mesh and I don't think an acorn would be able to go through glass and this metal mesh. But these are cool little flywire things. The notice board is, goes right across, across the door down the side. Wow, yeah, that is cool. All right, now into this other little room here. And now we're in this room, it's sort of like a little equipment storage room i guess there's bag hooks and stuff let's have a look this door has very nice glass and it's still intact um so let's have a look at this bag area this looks cool um probably would have been a tv there for like lessons and stuff 
Oh, this is sweet. This is probably obviously where the kids would have come in in the morning and put their bags. The bag hooks still have the names of the kids that last used them. Casey Harrison, Dylan Westmore, Mason Brown, Sam, Jamie. That's just a very old retro thingy. Product of General Motors Holdens. That's so cool. They made air conditioners as well. I had no clue. Create a car, so. Joshua, Corey, Will D slash Tari Ray Twawidi, Jade, Carrie, Ralph, Sarah, Emma, Christina, Carl, Nick, Nick M, Mitchell, Hayden, Callum. Okay, there's like a million names, but yeah. All right, let's continue the tour. All right, let's continue the tour. Disposable polyethylene gloves, hospital quality. Ajax, Ed. What else we got? A defunct ball here. It's very saggy. Yeah, I know it's pretty empty to be honest. Plastic in here for recycling. Old Telstra thingy me bobs here. Bunch of cables and stuff still left behind. All right, into this classroom now. It's pretty inspiring, isn't it, Bab? It is pretty inspiring. This is um, an LTC portable. All right, so we're in the end classroom here. All right, it's pretty cool, pretty abandoned, pretty spooky, um, if you must know. Um, and yeah, it's pretty epic in here. This would have been a computer nook. Check it out, there's still like a little school project made by one of the students. It was made by CW. Spooky. Spooky. Little remnants there. Above all the windows in every classroom, there's these little graphics drawn by the kids. Oh. Oh. Sprouters. Shrekt by a spider web. Fatal spider web. Encrusted corner. We got a casualty. Casualty. Yes, yeah, so you can see the fag mixes they bust in and then they open up every entrance. Check this out. There's still some writing on the blackboard. It's cool that this school still has blackboards. Most public schools have whiteboards now. This room here is a portable LTC classroom, so that means this wasn't built here like the rest of the school. This was brought on two trucks and stuck together. That piece of wood there, going up the wall, that's sort of the seam of the building where it would have been split in half. You can see the bolts hold the room together. Those fluorescent light fixtures on the ceiling are called Triple London light fixtures. They were used in a lot of state school buildings in Victoria back in the day. Wasps. They built a nest on the ball. On the ball. On the ball. Anyone for a sanitary napkin? Still some worksheets here. Oh, it's just info about Ajax spray and wipes. MSDs. <gasps> There's a massive spider. Massive spider. <laughs> Aircon controls. Other general controls. Ancient blue tack. Oh, it's still sticky. That would have been the teacher's desk. Um, ancient heater here. Okay, now we're in the other room, so we'll get a shot of the graphics. Sorry if the shots are terrible. Graphics. Oh, they're out of focus. Remnants. Remnants. Train remnants. Tra oh. All right, now to go have a look at some of the outbuildings. This is the most ironic thing in this school. Support Victoria's future. No school closures. On here, well. 1875 Centenary, 1975. This plaque commemorates 100 years of education at Warren Burns Primary School, number 1498. This tablet commemorates the official opening of the Warren Burns State School by the Honourable J.S. Bloomsfield, MLA, Minister for Education on the 21st of November 1958. And that explains why this is all an LTC school, because LTC schools only started to get built in 1954. 1875 yeah. schools long gone. Yeah. Give teachers credit. Water check. No, a little bit of a painting by the old students. There's a random desk here, I don't know why. So yeah, that's the door that the kids would have gone in to get to the bag room. Look how long these leaves have been building up. The people who belong here in our community. A bit more of a close up on the drawing. I love primary school art. It's just so classic. Look at that. Isn't that just whismical? 
Thank you, Prep to Grade 3, for bringing us that dank piece. You can see that the eaves are fibrous. This little awning is not actually very old. Would have only been put in a few years before the abandonment. Fatal mm. wasp's nest. I feel like we're in a proper people video. About to get attacked by hornets. The and top my, my of the eaves here, so. started to rot out. It's kind of sad. This place is getting a bit crispy. There's a shed. Let's go and have a look inside. Shed here. Oh my God, this is awesome. Oh yeah, this is sick. When's that newspaper from? August the 7th, 2007. I have no real clue what this was, but I assume an art room. Yeah, it looks art. Just sort of, you know, art-esque kind of room. You've got paper and stuff. You've got paint that's been thrown everywhere. What else have we got? We've got a shiwi there. Jump rope for heart. That is so classic. Oh my God, it's the whole like teacher's manual. Oh, and it's like molded into a big blob. Some old artwork there. What are these? Just like little toys, just random. It's a bit of a work trip to the workshop, that one. Some toys and stuff that have been left behind. A book about hockey, I think it is. general. Teaching hockey. Just hockey. So sport teachers know, so. Program. It's like a little whimsical wizard's little dingly dongly house. Oh, that wizard house is so inspirational. My chakras are exploding out of my head. Oh, that's where they would have kept tools for when they did woodworking with the kids. Hey, what's this? Is this like gold panning or something? Look, there's a Macca's cup in here and it's encrusted with spiderwebs. Oh, it's not a recent Macca's cup. You can see the kids' artwork on the walls. This place is epic. Bowling pin. Look at the amount of spider webs. What have you got? A couple of wasp nests. It's like a project by Ben. Oh, it's just when they were doing beading and stuff. Oh look, there's like a tub of the curtains they had in that classroom, but it's like a super abandoned set. This hat even has wasp remnants. There's some clothes and some other remnants. See, there's some shoes. They might have had dress ups in here too. Beheaded, 2004. Sort of a weird newspaper to keep in a primary school. In their defense, they would have just used those newspapers to cover the tables. A ban wasp's nest. Spider. Spooky. Check out this flagpole thing, maybe. I mean, I have no clue what it is, but. It's abandoned, that's one thing. I love the little dingly dongly. Let's do a pan, alternate view of the art room thing. Weird flagpole, main LTC building. Abandoned and proud of it. And yeah, keep panning around. We've got a little play area, water tank. And that could have been the toilets. Oh, he's done it again. Bab's just stirred up this ant's nest. Ooh, look at his creepy crawlies. Creepy creep. Crawly, crawly, crawly. All right. Weird shed. Let's have a look. It's got a sprout off. Trampoline remnants. Sports shed. Okay. Termites are just eating the whole door. Fag vexed by nature. Boing. So this room would have once been a shelter shed, but then it just became a general dumping area. They had their own DIY PVC hurdles. What's this? Wait, what is this? I don't know. It's just, it's just like a weird cupboard thing. It is. It's so weird, and you can see it's on wheels and everything, and it's got a little blackboard. Some type of teaching apparatus. What's that? What's that? A dartboard. A dartboard? More like pieces from the students. Where are they getting their hands on all this random paint? Henry. Plant pots. Paint. General. Stuff. So here's the seats where the kids would have once sat and just chilled out. You can see that's the modern addition that just made this a storage shed instead of a shelter shed. This is a generic LTC shelter shed. Heaps of computer boxes here. Acer computer boxes. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Not telling you where primary school. That's cool. There's the old boxes for the Acer monitors. Possible leaf blower remnant. Looks like a tent or something maybe. Net maybe for. a net for like volleyball or something. Ancient printer. Unused bag of concrete. Cricket stump. And another wasp's nest. Those pieces of horizontal wood would have been where benches would have once been. On the side of the shelter shed, there's a little tire mark. How the heck did that get there? So now we're getting a bit of a look at the sporting area. We have got an abandoned tap right there. A band tap. Huge abandoned netball court slash basketball court. Wow. And also a little rebound wall. I love how crispy this paint is on this target. 
That's cool. Why is there a target so close to the ground? Is it for like rebounding or? The kids carve their names into it. Todd Curtis. 07, that was before the school was abandoned. Country kids like doing a lot of pieces. My primary school is nothing like this. No, I'm in the city. The rebound wall. Which is made of solid concrete and steel. It has been manufactured elsewhere and craned into sight by looks of the hooks on the top of it. Yeah, and it would have been slotted into these metal pieces on the end. They're like kind of curved. Oh, there's a piece. There's a piece. Look at that piece. There's the oval. I don't really care. We're not gonna go over there. There's some hurdles. Are those petunias? There's another rebound wall with some graphics on it. Yeah, little wall with graphics. This would have been a rebound wall. That is a rebound wall. The little retaining walls holding up. The trees are now decayed and fallen away. And the kids probably used to sit on there too while they watched the game. Some massive oak trees here. Very, very awesome. So Baba's just discovered a little amphitheater. Fatal spider alert. Little chill zone, very decayed. Decayed chill zone. Bottles and stubbies or... This is all tiled, but you can barely tell it's just so covered in leaf litter. You can see that they put new wood in, sort of, semi-recently to when it was abandoned. Is the seating still good? How's it feel? It's very good and shady too. Mm. Well. Bab's now going to bully the spider. I'm going to tickle the spider. Hello. Hello. Ah. Ah. Doing, doing. Just tickle them. That's the art room shed there. That's the main school. There's a compost bin too, which is cool. Um, and down there is the bike shed. Abandoned compost bin alert. A little sprouter has decided to live where the compost once was. That is either a peach or a nectarine. Yeah, maybe the kids chuck their yeah. peaches in there and now peach trees grow. You can actually tell by the soil type that it would have been a compost bin and you can also tell, unfortunately, the amount of litter. Those would have just slotted in as you built up the compost heap. Warped. Oh, it. Out here on the last day in this little sort of patio area, they had a little sausage sizzle, a little gala. Mm. Bit of a send off, see if we can chuck in some snaps. The snap I was referring to as of the time of filming, I cannot find any more, but as you can see in this picture, the gala is underway. Um, some drink tap remnants here. Fatal tap. There would have been a massive water tank there, which can be seen in the Gecko Clan's video of Warrenburn Boho Land Protection Group, a history of land care in the Northeast. This footage was shot of the school before it was abandoned. The Land Protection Group sees education as a key to creating a greater awareness of the environment. To this end, the group sought outside funding to employ a rural urban development officer. Regular visits are made to local schools, where children are involved in projects dealing with problems such as salinity and soil erosion, along with a tree planting awareness program. The group sees its work as ongoing with all the challenges. Look in one of the windows. Even the curtains have wasps nests on them. Someone has decided to dig up the pipes here. I don't really know why. You can get under the building, but I don't care enough. Hey guys, Floyd Bromley here. Let's go up this staircase. It's just over here. Yeah, let's go now. Oh, it's locked. Wow, this box is cool. It's still locked. There used to be play equipment here, but it was quite new when the school was abandoned, so they just salvaged it and used it somewhere else. Wooden thing from the playground. That is another photo taken on the last day of school ever of the playground when it was still intact. This play safe equipment to promote fitness project was funded by the Australian government through the Investing in Our Schools program on the 8th of May 2006. Stage 1 was funded by Schoolyard Blitz, a state government project. Oh, man. What a waste. There's still massive water tanks. I'm surprised that they left them here or someone hasn't salvaged them. You can see that someone has taken the gas bottles though. Warning when changing cylinders, relieve valve must face away from building. Check it out, I love this. I love the height of the drain pipes when they come out. They've got their own like little bridge to reach the water tanks. Where'd that go? Yeah, I reckon it's the water. You can see that it's dripping. This little, this pipe here is dripping. There's definitely water. Can you get under the school? Uh, oh, does the tap work? Yeah, on the tank it might. Normally these um, light to construction portables. This, this part of the building is portable, the rest is permanent. It has this wooden sort of siding, but this part of the building here 
doesn't have that. It's just sort of sheeting. Some big trees have been chopped down here. I think those were chopped down on the last day. I think I saw some of that in the um, documentation. Les did see some of that in the documentation. Here is a giant pile of logs of the trees that were chopped down in 2008. And while I've got a captive audience, I can tell you that there was once two light timber construction portable classrooms here, but one has since been removed. Little gravel remnants would have been a path. We're now whipping our way back to the front of the school. There's a rock here, the old gate the students would have come in. This place is so overgrown, it's amazing. There's a little gate here so the students could have gone into the recreation reserve. All right, going into the gate of truth. Are those petunias? I think they're more of a lily family. Trumpet lilies, I'll call them. We're now on the search for the toilets. So we're now on the hunt for the toilet block because we just can't find it anywhere. They could have been here. Path stops here. <coughs> can't get it on. One of the tools of the tray down there. Okay, there's a little path here. It's pretty leaf lidded. No water. No. That little path leads to nowhere and we assume that's where the toilet block once was. And by using Columbo-like research skills and looking at this picture yet again, we can zoom in past the gala and you can see the toilets that once festooned themselves over there. Now, this is some footage of another abandoned school and the toilet block here is similar to the one they would have had at Warren Burn Primary School. I think it's a little bit different, but it gives you an idea of what the toilet once looked like. Toilets! There's actually like a crap load of cars coming past. Random person. That shit you do, wouldn't it? Attempted shot. Alright, art chairs open, we've got chairs on deck. Ooh, what type of chairs are there? Oh, school chairs. Window is getting repaired, we've got decorations. I'm moving. Looks good, looks good. I love that Anzac Memorial thing. Who's school that? road, school road. So we're approaching the primary school now. As you can see, it's lovely mode. Gate is open, because why? Someone is living here now. The toilet, where the toilet block used to be, the prompt a little construction sites for the toilet there, because they're fixing the school up. They've got like an urn in there, a little basic cooking set up. If you listen closely, you can hear them chopping something in the old art chair because they're turning it into a house. This is cool. The arm um, is still like graffiti and stuff, so they're not like fully finished. They've got cars. I don't know if you can see that, but there's some cars over there. Oval. Oval is mowed, but they haven't put away the random hurdles. Um, cricket pitch, still going strong. Um, yeah, Warren Bird Primary School is now a house, so please don't come and fag vex it because you will get in a lot of trouble. All right, thanks for watching the video. Believe in yourself. The school looks like it's been painted. They've got a barbecue and an outdoor setting. Warren Bird Primary School. There you go. Can you see the toilets? Now I can see the toilets because I freeze framed the video at a good time and I'm putting a red flashing circle around it. Look at it all. Oh. Okay, if you look through the foliage, terrible shot. That little white box right there is a porta potty. I wouldn't call it a porta potty because I think it's actually been plumbed into the old septic tank which would have once been used for the original school toilet block. So it's not really a porta potty in the true sense of the word. But thank you, Les. I knew what you meant. And by the way, it's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Oh, that wizard little installation is so great. My chakras are exploding out of my head. Oh, look, that's where they would have kept tools for the kids' learnings, you know. Oh, oh. Try again. Try again. <laughs> it was good, but try again.